Hello everyone. Today I'm sitting in my family car, which happens to be 12 years old. Now we live in a small town where everything is within reach, which means this car has traveled only 60,000 kilometers in the past 12 years. Now as per government's new rule, the scrappage policy, I can ride this car for the next three years only. If this was a diesel car, then I have already overshot my time period by two years. The scrappage policy says that a diesel car uh, which is already 10 years old and a petrol car which is already 15 years old cannot be applied on the Indian roads anymore. The government is very strict about this. It has already been implemented in Delhi and since this is a policy coming from the central government, therefore the chances are that it will be implemented all over India in varying degrees of time frame. Now we can discuss about the merits and the demerits of this policy in a later video. In this video we'll talk about the way out. If you have a car, if you have an old car, what can you do about it? Of course you can use conversion kits, you can use retrofitment kits to convert your petrol or diesel vehicle into an electric vehicle. In this video we'll talk about it, how you can benefit as a customer and if you have around five to six lakh rupees uh, lying around for investment then here is a good business opportunity for you as well all coming up in this one video so for simplicity we'll talk about a two-wheeler if you want to convert a two-wheeler into an electric counterpart all you need is a motor a controller and a battery now of course it is easier said than done but what i mean is that a fairly skilled mechanic will be able to convert a petrol vehicle into a electric vehicle a two-wheeler you'll get plenty of videos here in youtube if you happen to search for it the problem is this conversion is easy, but the conversion process is difficult. As per the Central Vehicle Motor Act, government bans all sorts of modifications that you do in your vehicle. Any modification that you, have to, that you do will have to be tested. We will need approval from the government, whether it is performing to its best, whether it, is, it meets the safety requirements. Because any illegal modification is a possible threat to your life and to those who are uh, sharing the road space with you. If you're from Maharashtra and have been wanting to convert your old petrol bike into an electric bike, you should be very careful because your government is strictly tracking down on all these illegal conversions and closing them for good. Now, this has been the case forever. Just to give you an example, this car is white in color. If I wanted to change it to black, I of course I can do it to in any paint mechanic shop, but then I'll have to go and register this car again in RTO saying that this car is now black in color. Any modification you will have to get it approved by the government and therefore this video becomes very important because in this video we'll tell you about a company called GoGo A1 now this is a Mumbai based company and this company has launched back in September 2021 they have launched a conversion kit a retrofitment kit to convert an old Splendor motorcycle into an electric one the speciality about this kit from GoGo A1 is that it is RTO approved, it is ARAI approved. If you have an, uh, if you have a motorcycle, a uh, Hero Splendor that was manufactured after March 1, 1997, your vehicle is compatible with this conversion kit. Now, this company has also applied for approvals for uh, CD Don, CD Deluxe and Honda Unicorn. When that happens, we'll let you know. Now, the conversion kit for Splendor comes with a 3.44 kilowatt motor, which is mounted on the rear wheel so when you go for a conversion you will get a brand new set of rear wheel this motor will give you a top speed of 70 to 80 kilometers per hour just this much with the conversion kit costs 35,000 rupees you can install your own battery if you wanted a battery of lower capacity but the one that they give the lithium-ion battery I think it's NMC chemistry they'll give you a battery which will which has a range of 151 kilometers as per the company's claim and that battery pack costs another 60,000 rupees so with the battery and uh, of course the motor controller everything your conversion entire conversion kit comes for 95,000 rupees now it is good that they're converting splendor because what it means is that the spare parts of this vehicle will be easily available they'll be available for for very low price and they are also very reliable that's from a customer perspective but if you wanted to do business with them you need few things first of all you need an area equivalent of 500 square feet where you'll set up your garage or your uh, workshop you need five to six lakh rupees for investment and you need two mechanics you need to hire two mechanics these mechanics will be trained by gogo a1 itself and once you start doing conversions for every conversion you will earn a profit of 8000 rupees that is a simple way of do going about the business there are three other ways second way is 
uh, you don't wait for the customer to bring in a motorcycle. What you do is you go out, you actively look for old splendors, you bring them, you change the spare parts, you do whatever you need to do to make it look good, to make it perform well. And then you put your conversion kit, which means you have a complete package of a motorcycle on display which the customer can buy for whatever price you have set. Of course, 95,000 95, rupees is for the conversion kit and then you factor in your own, uh, factor in your own investment. The third way is you make these motorcycles and you give them out for lease daily, monthly, yearly, whatever. It's your call. You give it out for lease and you earn from that. And the fourth way is you sell these motorcycles. Well, not sell actually. You have your motorcycles ready and then you submit it. You give it to the company itself because the company, GoGo A1 company, is constantly looking out for motorcycles that they can give out for lease. So if their dealer is willing to help them, then they will share that profit with the dealer, uh, which is you, in case you're interested. So the purpose of this video is to make you aware that although there are local places where you can go and convert your existing petrol vehicle into an electric vehicle, but mind you, these need to be RTO approved, ARAI approved. If, the, if these kits are not approved, then you riding your new convert, newly converted electric two-wheeler on the roads is a crime. It is illegal and police will hold you responsible. It doesn't matter if you have receipts, if you have made, if you have made all the payment, if you have uh, receipts showing this is the place where you got your vehicle converted. Remember the bike is yours and the onus is on you. That is it for this video. Let us know your thoughts in the comment section and we'll meet again. Go green, go electric.